it. Okay, we're going to make this a quick little Harry Potter video thing. And we're not going to talk about uh, a specific character. We're just going to tell my Harry Potter story. So, here's my Harry Potter story. Um, so, if y'all don't know, I happen to be a person on the spectrum. Uh, which is why I am puzzled skunk. Because skunks are my favorite animal. And the puzzle piece is the... Um, I don't want to say international symbol, but the symbol for autism. Give or take some people. So, one of the things that people on the spectrum tend to have, not always, but tend to, is a special interest. Uh, I've had multiples, but one of my, uh, Disney especially, but my biggest one right now is Harry Potter, as y'all noticed. Uh, I can tell y'all the first time I watched Harry Potter in the Philosopher's Stone. Um, and if y'all don't know why I'm calling it Philosopher's Stone, check out a prior video. Um, but... Uh, I love that movie. It's great. So, the first time I watched it, I would, me and Mama Puzzle Skunk had gone to Blockbuster and rented the movie. And I was sat down in the basement on our little green leather couch and watched the movie. I just enjoyed it. It was beautiful. Especially watching Harry grab Quirrell slash Tom Riddle slash He Who Must Not Be Named by the head slash face. And burning it and oh it was just brilliant and seeing the gold oh the galleons everywhere okay I'm sorry I'm, I'm gushing it, it was just a beautiful experience and that's when I knew I was going to love Harry Potter for life now of course I didn't read the books and stuff because I wasn't old enough well it wasn't so much I wasn't old enough to read the books it was just I was not technically capable of reading the books I guess and like I didn't really have I don't know so, the first movie I saw in theaters was Goblet of Fire. It was the only Harry, Harry Potter movie I'd ever seen in theaters. And Goblet of Fire, we came to the conclusion, it was too gross. It wasn't, it wasn't the typical Harry Potter movie. So, they focus way too much on the, on the Yule Ball. And nowhere near enough on the Triwizard Tournament. Or, for that matter, nowhere near enough on Winky. And they gave all of Dobby's scenes to Neville. I'm sorry. I'm bothered by that. Neville did, did deserve some kind of recognition and some kind of way to make him have more character and screen time. But it bothers me that they chose Neville. Because Neville is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But, I'm, but in the book, all of that was done by Dobby. Which made when Dobby died a lot more heartfelt and a lot more heartbreaking. Because so far, if you only go by what the films show you, Dobby only shows up mm, twice. In the set in Chamber of Secrets. And yes, I'm telling you the whole film is a show up because it'd be too complicated otherwise. And in the last film. And I think maybe one or two times in between, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but he barely shows up in the movies. And yes, I know some of you sitting there could be arguing, but Puzzled Skunk, what about the CGI they used to do Dobby? It was probably expensive, and they didn't want to do that when they could cast the guy, cast Neville in that role instead and make it a lot cheaper. Yeah, you're right. It could be cheaper to have Neville do it, but I'm sorry, it's just... No. No. Neville, no. Neville is not supposed to be doing that. That is Dobby's role. That bothered me. But I, I, I'm going to let that part go because I'm sure they had their reasoning. But I remember seeing it and they focused way too much on the Yule Ball, which I didn't like. Because the Yule Ball was just like a backdrop. It wasn't the main focus of the books. So don't make it the main focus of the movies, okay? So yes. So there's the Yule Ball... There is a whole mess of other stuff, but mainly the Yule Ball was the main issue there. And I saw all the films, and they were amazing. I kind of got mad that they split Deathly Hallows into two parts. Like, okay, movie studio, stop splitting the last book into two films. Twilight did it, Harry Potter did it, don't do that. We want to see the last book as a whole film. The only time I would say you should be allowed to split it into two is if the author of the book asks you to split it into two films or it's physically impossible to make it into its, a full film on its own.
Like, if the book is, like, like say, 60 chapters or something. But you really ought to try to make it all into one thing. Because, you know, separate films, that's just a mess. Because then people might, you know, you have to see the other thing to see how it ends. Unless they've read the book. In which case, like me, the Potter fans know how it ends. Like, we know. We know. We know. We know. And yeah, I'm sorry y'all to see me do that. I just, I'm just full of energy today. But yeah. So, yes. so, that bothered me, like, to no end. I was like, why? Why is that a thing? Why are we doing this? Please don't. So yeah, so we went, uh, I saw that in theaters. Um, and then uh, we're going to jump ahead sometime because there was anything Harry Potter for years. And then all of the sudden, of course, there's the Fantastic Beasts films. And when Fantastic Beasts first came out, I didn't want anything to do with it because I was still, I was kind of a mild Potterhead at that point. Excuse me, I loved Harry Potter. But once the films were over, the main films were over, I was like, okay, it's done. I'm still going to love every single one of them, read all the books, be happy, blah, blah. I'm done. Well, then, of course, some, we'll skip ahead a few more years. And the other movie came out. Uh, Secrets of Dumbledore, I think. Uh, no, Crime, no, Secrets of Dumbledore is the new one. Uh, Crimes of Grindelwald. And yeah, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but we're going to say Grindelwald. Because I can. Because it just sounds cooler. Grindelwald, Grindelwald. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, actually, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to apologize for that. Why should I? <laughs> I'm happy. I'm info dumping on all of y'all and y'all click this video. So y'all wanted an info dump. <laughs> Grindelwald. <laughs> okay, so anyways, Grindelwald. <laughs> I can't stop. I need to stop because I don't have a lot of time. All right, so uh, yeah, so Crimes of Grindelwald had come out, and I went. It looked good. I was like, ooh, I want to do that maybe. I don't know. So then, of course, we've got. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're back real quick. Um, so, yes. Um, we're talking about um, a few years from now. I actually uh, got laid off. And when I got laid off from work, I ended up... And y'all are seeing that, I'm sorry. Um, I've got to draw him a shirt because... That problem was just going to need me to help him go to the Popeyes for something. So, yeah, so y'all have to excuse the lack of seeing me and y'all actually hearing me and not seeing me. I apologize. Um, but y'all can't see me right now because I'm not decent at the moment. So, yeah. So, yeah, we went, oh, that's, no, that's, 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 Signing up for the library services for the blind. And uh, y'all also should know I'm legally blind. I can still see technically, but I'm legally, considered legally blind. So I signed up for the library services for the blind so that I could, um, uh, we call, so that I could actually uh, enjoy some audiobooks. Because I wasn't about to pay for Audible. Yes, um, I'm going to tell you all that life hack right now. If you're legally blind, don't buy, don't pay for an Audible subscription. I'm begging you, don't pay for Audible. Use the library services for the blind. It's free. Uh, you don't necessarily have the same selection as Audible. It might not be the same quality as Audible, but it's free and don't pay, don't pay for stuff you don't have to pay for. So. I use that, and since I use that, 
one of the it's actually beneficial. So one of the things I did when I signed up for it is I also selected in addition to what I like, I told them you can send me stuff of your own choosing. So if you want to send me something you think I'll like, feel free to send it. I'll be glad they'll take a listen. But sometimes you find good books that way. Like I found um I forget the name of the book, but I found a good book that way uh once. So, you know, it's a thing. It does happen. You can find stuff good stuff from time to time. So there was that, and I did that, and I I picked up the book, and you know I listened, and they actually had Harry Potter, uh, and actually I will do a video showing off how the the book player works later today I think. So there was so they sent me Harry Potter, and the Philosopher's Stone, and a couple other ones, but and the. I took a couple of the other books, but I listened to it and I was like, okay, yes, I love me some Harry Potter. So I started listening and I listened to the rest of them and it was amazing. And that's my Harry 